from mysterious ancient scrolls with weird images and encrypted texts, to nonlinear stories that might make you afraid of your own house. Today we look at the most bizarre books in the world. Number 11. Gatsby Some letters in the English alphabet are more important than others. Normally it would go without saying that the vowels are pretty essential, especially if you're writing a book. In 1939, Ernest Vincent Wright challenged this controversial wisdom by reviving an ancient Greek writing prompt called Lipogram, a piece of writing that deliberately excludes certain words or letters. In this case, Wright wrote the 50,000-word novel Gadsby, with the letter E appearing in less than five words. Widely marketed as the novel without the letter E, the story focuses on the decline and subsequent rebirth of a fictional American city, which is saved by the titular male protagonist and a band of adolescents. As Gatsby stumbles through major American historical episodes a la Forrest Gump, Wright punctuates the narrative experience by forcing the reader to miss the absence of a letter in the alphabet, the way many of us miss details of childhood or our hometowns. Number 10. The Voynich Manuscript Named after the rare book collector who discovered it in 1912, the Voynich Manuscript is a world-famous medieval artifact believed to have originated in 15th century Italy. In addition to its debatably indecipherable coded text, the manuscript features sporadic illustrations of female figures, mutated plants, and odd astrological charts. In early September 2017, Nicholas Gibbs, a researcher for the Times Literary Supplement, claimed to have solved the handwritten code using an algorithm and operating under the assumption that most of the words in the text were actually representative of abbreviations. He concluded the text was an instructional guide for Renaissance-era doctors regarding women's health. While the academic consensus aligns with Gibbs' view of the book being health-related, his findings are still being heavily scrutinized and debated among historians and codebreakers. Number 9. Finnegan's Wake James Joyce's work profoundly influenced contemporaries and future admirers like Samuel Beckett, Brett Easton Mills, Michael Cunningham, and many more. Often cited as one of the most difficult books to read in the English language, Joyce's novel Finnegan's Wake has been baffling readers ever since its initial publication in 1939. The text appears as an amalgamation of multiple iterations of English, with accompanying phrases and puns taken from other languages and dialects. On top of the interconnected word usage, this story about an Irish family on the decline is conveyed to the reader through an unending, sometimes incoherent stream of consciousness. Forever infuriating and unexpectedly insightful, Finnegan's Wake is objectively one of the weirdest masterpieces ever committed to the page. Number 8. House of Leaves In 1990, author Mark Z. Danielewski boarded a bus in New York bound for Los Angeles to visit his ailing father. In order to quell his anxiety and busy thoughts, Danielewski began feverishly writing in a cheap notebook. The story he began during that sleepless trip across the United States eventually became House of Leaves, a book that most committed readers point to as one of the most taxing and frightening novels ever written. The book is a masterpiece of ergodic literature, a genre defined by the approach of challenging readers by forcing them to pursue non-traditional means of consuming the information on the page. In House of Leaves, multiple narrators represented by different typefaces and fonts are followed throughout the story. Several of the footnotes have their own footnotes. On more than a few pages, the text is arranged into different shapes, puzzles, and codes. Most critics would describe the book as an intense and disturbing experimental horror novel. Stephen King said it gave him nightmares. Some readers have reported sensations of increased paranoia, claustrophobia, and agoraphobia as a result of reading House of Leaves, mainly due to the plot's detailed exploration of a house that keeps changing its structure into maze-like configurations. Others would call it an epic, sweeping love story. Many consider it to be a pointed and humorous satire of academic criticism. Regardless of which camp you end up in, it's undeniable that House of Leaves falls into a bizarre category of books you should dive into with an open mind, a willingness to reread certain chapters, and always with the lights on. Number 7. The Ripley Scroll With only 21 copies in existence, The Ripley Scroll is a profoundly rare piece of literary history. Its authorship is widely attributed to transcendentalist thinker George Ripley, despite the fact that it first appeared roughly 20 years after his life ended. 
This is because the bulk of the original manuscript consists of Ripley's verses on the science and philosophy that inspired the medieval concept of alchemy. But Ripley had no proven role in the ornate series of illustrations, depicting sweeping alchemical processes, as they were provided by one or more unknown artists in the decades following his passing. These canvases depict the speculative science and thought behind the Philosopher's Stone, a mythical object capable of transforming ordinary metals into gold and bestowing eternal life. The scroll's largest iterations extend to 18 and a half feet long and 23 inches wide. They feature immensely detailed scenes that depict impossible interactions between man and nature, including a sentient sun showering liquid light down upon a crowned man-bird hybrid following the opening of a mystical egg by the Egyptian god of healing. Number 6. Dancing Lessons for the Advanced in Age One day an elderly Czech man named Rake walks around outside in a public place, stumbles upon a group of people lounging beside a fountain, and proceeds to tell them the story of his complicated life and past loves. The experiences he recounts both comically and tragically mirror major events in Czech history. This plot may not seem complex at first, but it becomes infinitely more layered upon the discovery that the entire story is told in one continuous sentence. Memorable and controversial in equal measure, Dancing Lessons for the Advanced in Age is a revolutionary statement about the complicated relationship between a man and the country he calls home. Number 5. Hopscotch Have you ever opened a book that contains specific instructions on how to read it? If you ever pick up Julio Cortazar's 1963 novel Hopscotch, you'll find that the author provides two diverging options on how to process the book and its secrets. Of the novel's seemingly unrelated 155 chapters, the latter 99 are initially dismissed as being unimportant to the overall story. This is stated at the very beginning, so one option available to the reader is to read chapters 1 through 56 as a standalone work. The second option is to read each chapter through to the end in a unique pattern determined by Cortazar himself. An unwritten third option allows for the reader to choose their own approach when consuming the flow of information that the book has to offer. As a flashpoint of the counterculture movement, Hopscotch is a deeply involved artistic reaction to the perpetual conflict between organized society and chaotic disorder that defined the 20th century. Number 4. The Codex Seraphinianus most adults have had the experience of being unable to understand something they're reading, but very few can say it about a picture book. The Codex Seraphininius is no ordinary picture book. It is a sprawling two-volume, over 300-page-long encyclopedia of Bosch-like illustrations, ranging from the humorously satirical to the heavily surreal. You'd think this would be enough to set it apart from other works, but in addition to its unique imagery, Whatever story or statement the book has within its text is either coded, encrypted, or intentionally misleading. And did we mention the text is made to appear handwritten? The Codex was composed by Italian architect turned visual artist Luigi Serafini over a six-year period in the 1970s. Originally published in 1981, it continues to fascinate and perplex readers with its mixture of existing and made-up languages, its singular stylized text, and its sometimes shocking subversive illustrations. As can be seen in this image, Serafini mixes the anatomy of a horse with that of a caterpillar on wheels, intentionally muddling the distinction between that which is possible in nature with the fantastical or ridiculous. The accompanying text at the bottom of the page imitates the formality of an old-fashioned medical textbook, highlighting the author's preoccupation with frivolous subjects being communicated through formal means. Number three. The Story of the Vivian Girls When the contents of hospital janitor Henry Darger's small Chicago apartment were being sorted in the wake of his passing in April 1973, his landlords discovered a massive collection of writings and illustrations. In the ensuing months, various artists and experts painstakingly pieced together the manuscript and its accompanying watercolor imagery into the story Darger intended it to be. Its full official title is the story of the Vivian girls, in what is known as the Realms of the Unreal, of the Glandico Angelinian war storm caused by the Child Slave Rebellion. That doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, so it makes sense that the title is often shortened. The full multi-volume text is over 15,000 pages, single-spaced, and punctuated by original hand-painted scenes ranging in size from a small canvas to huge 30-foot-tall pieces of mixed media. It is not clear when Darger began working on the story, though there are many indications that it took him decades to complete it. 
In addition to being a challenging account of the trials of childhood, the story of the Vivian Girls is one of the few books you can find that comes with its own museum exhibit. Number 2. The Smithfield Decretals Originating in early 14th century France, the manuscript now known as the Smithfield Decretals changed considerably over the course of 40 years. The text began as a recording of Pope Gregory IX's thoughts on Catholic doctrine, stemming from his attempt to exact his own authority over the spread of Christianity. Eventually ending up in southern England by the mid-1300s, the volume soon became an elongated snapshot of medieval life and lore. Its wild illustrations include impossible structures, militant rabbits, and knights battling giant snails, all of which were added over time by numerous artists and scribes. Because of the Smithfield Decretals' odd mixture of religious and secular imagery, as well as the eccentricities of the scenes it depicts, the manuscript's content is still turning heads to this day. Number 1. The Rohonk Codex First appearing in early 19th century Hungary, the Rohonk Codex is a volume named after the now-renamed city of Rohonk, where it was housed in a library for many years. Originally mistaken for a prayer book, the text has never ceased to confound researchers and historians due to both its unknown author and mysteriously coded text, which has yet to be translated. In addition to the symbols that guard its secret meaning, the 450-page long item features 90 rough illustrations of indeterminate relationship to the text. As if the intrigue didn't end there, the experts have also been stumped by whether the pages of the Rohan Codex are meant to be read left to right or right to left. Theories that the whole thing may be an elaborate hoax are as old as the book itself. We'll leave you to decide. Who knows? Maybe you even stand a chance of cracking the supposedly uncrackable code on your next day off.